18 days ago, at this remote campsite in Western Australia, a young mother made a horrifying discovery. Her four-year-old daughter was missing from the family tent. The tent was completely um, open. I turned around to Jake and, and I just said, like, Cleo's gone. The search for four-year-old Cleo Smith soon became one of the biggest in the state's history. Detectives investigated hundreds of tip-offs and security camera footage, as well as using drones and satellite technology. They even rummaged through rubbish bins along a 600 kilometres stretch of road. Cleo's family lives in the coastal town of Carnarvon, 900 kilometres northwest of Perth. The little girl's disappearance shocked the local community. A lot of people are very upset. I think about it every night. Oh, just devastated. The whole town is just devastated. I hope that they uh, find her alive. That's the main thing. Elsewhere, thousands of people volunteered to assist the search, even forming a social media network. There's about 60,000 members now. We're distributing stickers, flyers, banners, T-shirts, um, the posters. In the early hours of the morning, police raided this house just minutes away from Cleo's family home. We're going to take and see your mummy and daddy, OK? Fronting the media this afternoon, the officer leading the rescue described it as the most significant moment of his career. I was one of, um, you know, four guys that, um, that were fortunate enough to go through that door and, and make that rescue. I said, what's your name? And she didn't answer, and I said, what's your name? <laughs> um, she didn't answer again, so I asked for a third time and then she looked at, and looked at me and she said, my name's Cleo. But what was Cleo's reaction to seeing her parents for the first time? Oh, you know, mummy, <laughs> <laughs> big hugs, kisses, um, yeah. yeah, and lots of tears, you know, so as you can expect, you know, it was... Um, Is this the best moment of your career? Oh, without a doubt. It was just pure happiness, just for Ali, Jake, for, you know, the family. We've all been so emotionally invested in her being found and every day it's been hope and thoughts of, of that hope. This is the day, this is an amazing day. After spending weeks coordinating thousands of volunteers, Sammy Wilson says the news that Cleo is back with her family is what they've all been waiting for. From the bottom of all our hearts, this is what we worked for so hard. Healing is the, the process that needs to happen now. Deputy Commissioner Cole Blanche is with me. First of all, can I ask, how are the Smiths doing? Oh, look, the Smiths, as you can imagine, are elated today. What, what an amazing day for them. 18 days of absolute hell, heartbreak. Um, you know, they've, they've had a really, really tough time, not only with the disappearance of their daughter, Cleo, but certainly I know they've had a really tough time on social media. So today to get that phone call, that time of the morning, it was an amazing day for them that they have had extreme emotions being united with Cleo has just been extraordinary for them. And I know, as Ellie has already said, they are now a whole family. And an incredible day for police. Police hardly ever get a happy ending like this. Look, I've got to say the entire Western Australia police force, in fact, the entire Western Australian community has, has just, you know, been thanking each other all day because we, we, are, we were so hopeful for this outcome. We had in our hearts that this is what we wanted to achieve. 18 long days, 24-7 to achieve this outcome. What, what a magnificent time it is for law enforcement and for the state of Western Australia. How unusual is it for a missing child to be found after this period of time? Well, the data's not great, Lee. It actually, you know, we, we, we were very concerned. Um, you know, often often children are never found alive. And, and unfortunately, um, you know, it, it happens very quickly. So to have 18 days go by, like I said, we never gave up hope. Uh, we maintained our focus. We maintained our professionalism. We've, we've thanked the community for the work they've done. So to, to find little Cleo this morning in that house was a moment that I'll never forget. When would you anticipate that charges would be laid? 
Look, he's obviously a 36-year-old male who's helping us with inquiries at the moment. Um, we've got a number of things to firm up. As you know, for 18 days, we've been collecting information. So there is there is a lot to go through. Um, it's, it is it's a massive task ahead of us. However, we're just making sure we dot all the I's, cross all the T's, and, and when that time comes, uh, we'll certainly let, let everyone know. Is the man known to the family? Uh, look, that's part of the investigation at the moment. Um, I can say we don't believe so at this time, but certainly we will be you know, looking under every rock and looking at every contact and, and everything that person or, or any part of the investigation um, leads to, to the date of the 16th of October when Cleo disappeared. Was the man previously known to police? Uh, look, he, he, he does have information on our records that we, we do have and that will form part of the investigation, part of um, our way forward. Tell us about the police operation, how many people were involved, what kind of lines of inquiry were followed? So on the first day, um, we set up a, basically a dual track. We had a land, sea and air search um, in case Cleo had wandered off. So we made sure that we did what we would ordinarily do in a land, sea and air search for a wandering off person. But we also declared a protected forensic area immediately. And that was a criminal investigation in case Cleo had been taken. That set up the task force Rodia. 100 officers immediately were tasked. We sent 50 up to Carnarvon, 50 in Perth, and they started the mammoth task of collecting everything. They collected CCTV, telephone data, rubbish along the highways, witness statements, forensics, fingerprints, you name it, we collected it because we knew that that would form our jigsaw puzzle for later on that we could solve. And on day 18, that jigsaw puzzle came together. So it was the policing that led to the breakthrough, not a sudden tip off from the public or something of that nature? Look, everything contributes to the outcome we've seen today. It, it was primarily police work. Uh, and when I say police work, I mean intelligence analysts, specialists, forensics, detectives, everyone contributed to this. But we've got to remember, we've got an entire community out there that rang up every day, Crime Stoppers. The, the, you know, the community of Carnarvon really put the effort in to help us solve this crime. You hardly ever get to deliver a good news story. I hardly ever get to deliver a good news story. It's so fantastic to be able to talk to you about this tonight. Congratulations and well done. Thanks very much, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.